So Selma Brew really wants to provide a better customer experience, and they want to dive into their crashes. One of the things they really want to do is go after individual problems that their customers are having. For example, they had a complaint from one of their customers about a crash, and her name is Teresa. So they want to actually look up and see what happened with Teresa's session. All I have to do is st start typing in Teresa's email address, it's Teresa Carroll, and filter to her email. And out of potentially tens of thousands of crashes that have happened with my app, I can pull only those crashes that happened to that one person, Teresa. And Teresa actually had one type of crash and four occurrences of that type of crash. So in other words, she tried the same thing a couple times, and each time it actually crashed the app. So now I want to go in and see what happened. So I'm going to dive in to that specific crash. When I go into these, the actual details of this crash, I see that it stays filtered to that specific user. That shows up here. I think I can then show more information about her sessions. So I have all four of her sessions here as part of the data. I can go through each one of those. And for each of them, I can actually see the exact experience, everything that she viewed in the mobile app and every button that she clicked in the mobile app by looking at what's called an interaction trail. The interaction trail shows what she did, browsing, making a purchase, verifying a payment, right up until the app actually crashed. That's really valuable for me uh, to actually figure out how to re reproduce this problem. I also have inf information about various attributes that New Relic auto instruments. For example, the type of device, the actual version of the operating system, connection type, and also any custom attributes that I decided to collect, like Teresa's email address in this case. Finally, I can see the stack trace, so I know exactly where in the code the crash happened. Based on this, Soma Brew is able to actually go in, fix the bug, put out a new build of that app, and push it out to Teresa and say, hey, we know you just ran into a problem, and here we have a new app build for you to try. That's not all. If we go back, so Teresa's crash is here. This is a specific type of crash that she had. We can filter to that crash. We can take off Teresa's filter. And then we can actually group by email and pull up any other users that had the same exact crash. So what that lets us do is actually reach out to those additional users and say, hey, we have a new build for you. We have a new release of our app. You should try it out. We know you've had some problems, and we want to make sure you have the best experience ever. <laughs> There's more. So you've heard a lot about insights. You've heard a lot about dashboards and NERCWL, um, so the New Relic Query Language. Any of these charts on any of these pages actually allow you to view the NERCL query and to actually pull up that chart in Insights. So let me show you an example. Right now, we're actually filtered to one type of crash. And we're looking, we're actually faceted or grouped by the user emails for that crash. So what we can do here is actually show the NERCL for the exact query that is used to show this chart. And it keeps the filters and it keeps the facets um, so that how we have that information available. That can be really useful if we want to, for example, set up an alert based on this query. Another way it's really useful is if we can actually jump straight over into Insights, pull up that same exact query, maybe make it into a stacked area chart, maybe add some more filters, some more facets, and add it to our dashboard. So there you go. That's crash analysis. And definitely check it out. Back to you.